All right, in my video today, I want to tell you a secret why Excel cannot work well for bill of materials. You know, uh, Excel is probably the most popular tool when it comes to bill of materials, but it's also the most dangerous tool because once started to work with Excel, you will find yourself in a more complex situation every next step. So you end up in some what I call chief Excel officer. So how to not how not to be chief Excel officer and why Excel cannot work. So there are two things that a bill of materials need to manage. And the one is the first is the ability to manage references or in other words, to centralize information about part. Let's say you have a screw which has a cost, manufacturer, supplier, and all other information description. So you would like this information to be managed in the central place. And then each time you create bill of materials to reuse this information. So uh, we call it reference instance mechanism, but in Excel, you don't have it. So in Excel, each time you create bill of materials, you force to copy data. So you will have 20 Excels with the screw, most probably all descriptions, cost, and all these other things will be copied between these bombs. So copies are not good because when you will have to make a change, you will have to be, you will have to go to all these bill of materials and make a change. So it create a mess in the data and the not organizations of uh, data, which allow you to manage uh, this information in centralized form and have one place to define cost description manufacturer. So let me talk about second problem with Excel which is related to the management of structures. You know, every bill of materials is structured. So you have assembly, sub-assembly, sub-assembly, and then parts. So when you need to put the structure and create the structure in Excel, you cannot do it. Excel is flat. So any spreadsheet is flat. So there are some techniques in Excel that allows you to group rows. And when you do it, you feel like you did it in the structured form but in fact, it's still flat list. When you click on a specific line, you don't know where it's used. So if you have a multiple assemblies with the same part, you will not get the real structure with the where you use query and manage an ability to manage all relationships and structures. So that's the second thing that Excel will never do. You see two fundamental weak points of Excel in management of bill of materials that you will not be able to resolve. This is not your fault. So uh, don't feel guilty if you cannot do it in Excel. Just go to OpenBOM, register for free, and you will see how OpenBOM solved these two fundamental problems. Reference instance model, single version of truth about all components, single place to define all this information, and then management of uh, bill of material structures. So register for free today, check it today, and then talk back to me and tell if this is uh, true and this is the best way, but I know it is. But if you want to prove it differently, contact me today. I'm happy to talk to you. Thank you very much and you have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye.